Mason or all electric, you know. Uh, uh, but then again, in, in trucking, uh, you know, you figure, um, you know, you can go pretty far uh, uh, on a diesel engine. All righty, what we're looking here at, folks, is Thetis 2.8.11 64-bit running on Protocol 1 on a 200D Apache. Uh, update by Richie WMW0LGE. This is update number 21K7, I think it is. If my eyes don't deceive me, so really quick here, I'm going to show you what happened to me. I was talking to a group <clears throat> um, a few nights ago. I could not get my second receiver audio to work. So what you're seeing right here now and what you were listening to was uh, both receivers running on two independent antennas. Uh, one is the 40 meter parasitic array that's on the top. RX1 and TX, that's my primary. And the slice underneath is the RX2. That's running on 20 meters, listening on a 40 meter half wave end fed uh, that goes up about 65 feet. And that hears extremely well all the way from 40 to 2 meters and transmits best on 12, 10, 6, and 2. Um, believe it or not, it's kind of a freak show. Uh, but that does double duty with uh, user relay to switch that in and out into switch the 49 to 1 out to a uh, vertical, a uh, quarter wave, 80 meter vertical, which has proven to be pretty flipping good, um, even with a grossly inadequate radio field uh, working really well so far. Anyways, I digress. This is all about Thetis and how to fix an issue I had. So I was chatting with a group in there. I said, hey, I can't get my VAC2. Uh, it lights up and it shows that it's processing and it's working, but there's no audio coming out and it was working. So let me just run you through this really quick. So when you kick on your uh, RX2 on Thetis, uh, you can listen on both, which is a little confusing, as you can imagine. You can listen on separate bands. You can listen on the same band. You can lock the VFO. You can use uh, two different polarized antennas to maybe enhance the signal and mix the two. So all kinds of very cool things you can do with this, uh, with this hardware and software. Uh, very, very powerful. Yeah, you guys ever hear the song Can't Touch This? Yeah. Um, very difficult to beat. I have yet to see anything that can beat this software or this uh, hardware in this department. Uh, it's, it's really amazing. So uh, I was having a problem. If you come up here to setup, and you go to audio. Now VAC1 I have sitting on, that's, that's my uh, primary VAC. And that is communicating back and forth with the M audio card. It brings audio in on TX, sends audio out on RX. That's to the primary station card, I call it. Now, RX2, I have set up on VAC2. Now, you can't share the same driver, as you know, uh, unless you're running some kind of ASIO um, bridge, some splitter, router, ASIO router, that type of thing. So the easiest way to do this is to set this to MME and I, ha and I use the MME driver on the M audio speakers, right? And don't even bother with anything on the input because you're not transmitting out of that antenna anyways. So it doesn't matter what's in here. So you can set this to MME speakers to your primary sound card, boom. Enable the VAC, it should work. However, oh, let me go back to that really quick. However, what was happening, let me, uh, let me engage this. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll kill the volume. So hang on for a second. Seven and a half miles per hour. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you got now VAC2 is off. So if I click this button right here, it should turn on the audio on the second receiver. So here we go. So I have a feeling it hiccuped just now. Let me get on a frequency here. Uh, 
this truck. I paid cash for it. And, uh, you know, it's a 2015, like I said before. It's, you know, it's a Freightliner. Got it pretty cheap. There's 607,000 miles on it now. I got it for 30 grand. And it's got some work done to it. So, you know, it's pretty good buy. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's all paid for and everything. But, man, the fuel is what kills everything. Okay, so what you just saw. Is it train wrecked, right? This is what happens on Thetis. It's a bug. I'm glad it did this. So it just train wrecked. So the audio is not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, uh, Justin. Uh, of course, anything. So if we, so we kill the R, the uh, audio to the RX1, you hear nothing come at RX2 except VAC2 is on. So what I did was I played with this. Right, kick this out. And see, that window should not close. That's an error. See how that window closes when you hit that uh, enable VAC2 box? That's not good. That is not good. So you could try going to Windows Direct Sound, go to your primary station card, and still nothing. Hit apply. Zippo. My AGC is wide open. I fussed with this for hours. And see how the, the uh, VAC is running. If you look at the VAC2 monitor, it's processing. But there's nothing happening. So if you toggle this, nothing happens. And go back to MME. And I came, became a little demoralized because... Supposedly, you know, I talked to these guys. Oh, I've got 10 years experience with Anons. Well, they couldn't fix it. They had no answer. Um, this is a bug in the software. This is a problem. Uh, I'll show you how this is a problem that I have on going with Thetis. I love Thetis, but it is very unstable. So the only way to pretty much fix this, I'm going to try this right now. I'll show you how to do it. So go ahead and close Thetis. What you want to do, you need to delete a file. I'm going to try this. I don't care if it brain wrecks it because it's junk. It's corrupted. Now, the database is officially corrupted. When that happens, there's nothing you can do to fix this. This is the only thing I found without completely blowing everything out and redoing it again. Uh, go to uh, C program files if you're on 64 bit go to 64 bit open HP SDR open Thetis and you will see where are you it's not in there okay hmm Okay, let's go back here. Let's go to users. Let's go to uh, your username. Go to app data roaming. And go to open HP SDR. Thetis X64 database. This one right here. Uh, delete this. Delete this database. I do a shift, delete, enter. Blows it completely out of the computer. Now let's try and restart Thetis, okay? So we'll restart Thetis, and looks like it's starting. Hasn't hung yet. Uh, this has worked in the past. What this is going to do is this is going to revert you back to the the gr the absolute ground zero Thetis, right? Now, if you're smart. You save your data, always save your databases, always. And I always save mine to an external drive. So if I go to import database, you'll see Thetis database in here. And this is in the user area and C drive. So I'm going to go to where my actual database, Thetis update. This is the updated Thetis database that I created. So I click this. Thetis will now close, click OK, and now reopen Thetis, and you should be back to square one, and the VAC2 should work.
Now I have yet to get an error on MRXPS. That's why I just love MRXPS. It's incredibly stable. Um, it just works. It really does. It's, and this is, okay, so we have audio. My database is back. Go to audio, VAC1, go to VAC2. Okay, that's correct. So, now if I open the second receiver, so we're on 40 meters, so let's put this right here. So we'll place that here. Now we'll open the second receiver. Okay, so you want to make sure your VFO sync is off. We're going to go up to 20 meters. And let's see if we can put it on a signal here. Put it right here. Change the upper sideband. So we're on 14.253 on VFO2, 72.33 on VFO1. All right. Now what we have to do is we have to turn on VAC2. So actually, let me put it on this. This, this looks pretty strong. Actually, that's really strong. Trying to look for a consistent single signal. So when it comes on, you can actually hear the freaking thing, but everything's so intermittent. So let's grab this guy. All right, VAC2 going on. Copy you, 404, South Carolina. There you go. Okay, so here... So here is another issue. Washington, America 2, Sierra Lima Hotel. Oh, there we go. Make sure your multi RX is off. Station ending in Sierra Lima Hotel. We believe your we believe your prefix is Whiskey Bravo 2. If you would come back to us with your phone call sign, please. Washington. Okay, so you want to make sure your multi RX is off. <laughs> That's a problem. But yeah, as you can see, it's working again. So there you go. Uh, if anything happens, you don't need to blow everything out. All you need to do is delete that uh, database file in your roaming directory, directory. Permanently delete that, reopen it, reload your database, you're back off and running. But that's that's if you have set your database up. You, you've you exported your database. Always export your databases to a separate folder outside of your Thetis directories, your, your uh, default Thetis directories. Uh, if for some reason you have a brain out, you want to install it and you go in and you blow out all the temporary folders in the roaming directory and uh, the data folders, stuff like that, uh, it will blow all of that out and you'll have to start from square one again. So that's just a rule of thumb for me. I oh, Redundancy is key with this stuff, so make sure you set that up correctly. So that's it. I'm so glad that I was hoping it would train wreck, and that's the crap that I have to put up with. It is dynamite. Now, just for giggles, I'm going to open up MRXPS, which is the old version from 2018. It's a more primitive function. It does not have the auto AGC and all the updates that um, uh, it's not Thetis either. Uh, so this is MRXPS. So if we uh, this MRXPS 3.4.9 from 319, March 19th, 2018. She's an oldie but goodie. It always works. Now let's see if it makes a liar out of me. So let's go to 40 meters. Cracker open a little bit. Whenever you move, it dangles in the middle of it. But the chief uh, commemorative station uh, for the 75th anniversary of the uh, communication security establishment here in Ottawa. Over. Okay, so let's uh, check our VAC settings. We made well over 
audio EAC1 is correct and I've also found that this I knew the call sign was familiar I knew the call sign was familiar but I just couldn't no matter what I do no matter what I do in Thetis, I cannot get the latency as low as MRXPS. It's much simpler. Um, I mean, it is tight in Thetis. Really tight. It's damn close to kicking the monitor on on a conventional super hit. Being a musician and a drummer, I have an inner clock, and it's still there. And I can s detect very subtle latencies um, in audio and it's very very little latency if I kick this monitor function on and talk into the microphone oh hell yeah MRX PS wins hands down now I've had people tell me that our gurus with Thetis well it's because you're not set up right well show me how to set it up then talk is cheap you know um, so so far I have yet to have anybody tell me the exact settings I need to use to make the latency as little as what's in MRXPS. Take it for what it's worth. It's quite possible it's user error, but I can tell you Thetis is exponentially more complicated than MRXPS. It, it's, it's got some really neat fe features, which I love, and I just, oh, I'm always running Thetis, especially the updates, the great updates that Richie's working on, but uh, there are something, nothing's perfect. So let me get the uh, RX2 open up. So we'll get RX2 open and VAC2 automatically kicked on. Don't you love it? Doesn't do that on Thetis. So I go up here. Let's go to our sideband. And let's get the VFO sync off. Let's go to 15 megahertz. Let's go up to 20 meters. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I gotta have that. Give me a version of health kit for your pet. Really? So, there you go. Bring uh, AGC1 back up. Them. And it's just, uh, uh, you, know, you see them far away, you don't think they're that big, but uh, when you're... So there you go. Anyways, it always, MRXPS always works. It just always works. Um, I have very, very little issues with MRXPS, but, you know, if you want the really cool features that nobody else has, and I mean nobody, uh, Thetis, the updated Thetis, what, what's, what Richie is working on is the way to go. It's buggy. There's some issues there, at least on my end, but there's some workarounds. Don't let it frustrate you, and uh, keep at it. We'll get there together. 7-3, all. Have a super fine day. I'm out of here. A1GM.